Here's the Black Eyed Peas Fergie wetting herself during a gig. The incident occurred because the group were late for their performance due to traffic. It does not just happen all the time, she said. We were late for stage, driving down the freeway, it's Friday traffic, get to the stage, we have to start right the show. I'm running on and we jump and do let's get it started and I get crazy and I jump and I run across the stage and my adrenaline was going and gosh, I wish it didn't happen. It was so embarrassing. Female celebrities are at constant risk of paparazzi's bulbs making things look see-through and visible bits and bobs peeking out of things. Not to mention the whole getting out of lemos thing. But this is well over the top. Normally, we'd have sympathy, but what's this all about? That's not a slip. She's basically just undressed. Beyonce has a lot of fans. Being one of the world's most successful singers, that kind of comes with the territory. But she'd never dealt with a fan quite as destructive and annoying as the one who started eating her hair in Montreal back in 2013. Luckily, stagehands were on call to assist and untangle the Crazy in Love singer's lovely locks from the blades. A hair-raising moment, indeed. When Katy Perry sang I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It at MTV's Latin America Awards in 2008, not too many people believed her. Anyone who saw this hugely embarrassing incident was more inclined to believe that she'd been kissing a few bottles of champagne before heading out on stage. For anyone who didn't know what happened, she covered herself in cake and fell over. A lot. Now, to a lot of us, the merest sight of Justin Bieber is enough to make us all uncontrollably vomit for hours. But for the man himself, no such luck. So we're not exactly sure what it was that set up this nausea for him. Whatever it was, it was enough to have him barfing all over the stage. He carried on the gig afterwards, though, unfortunately. Being a celebrity is a busy lifestyle, no doubt. There's plenty to do, and you're expected to constantly be working and promoting and making money. So they don't always have time to do things, like tanning. Who has time to get a little sunbathing in when you have an album to record and a movie to give interviews about? So we can understand why Christina Aguilera feels the need to fake tan, but she really needs to rub that stuff in.